Hello everyone, welcome back to Infinity Physics. In this lecture, we will discuss about refractive index. In the last lecture, we had a discussion about Snell's law in which we have seen that the ratio of sine of angle of incidence to the sine of angle of refraction is equals to constant and this constant is called the refractive index of the second medium of the second medium with respect to the first medium. So what is this refractive index? Let us try to understand the refractive index and then we will again try to understand the Snell's law in terms of refractive index. So when light passes from one medium to another medium, it changes its direction as well as its velocity, right? That is, whenever light travels in a vacuum or air, it is traveling with approximately speed of 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second. Now, as soon as the light changes its medium, its direction of motion changes and its speed also decreases. For example, in a glass, the speed of light is 2 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second. You can see here the speed of light from 3 into 10 to the power 8, that is from 3 lakh kilometer per second, it decreases to 2 lakh kilometer per second. So here the direction and the speed of the light changes when it uh, changes its medium of propagation. So the extent up to which the extent up to which the direction and the velocity of light changes is expressed in terms of refractive index. Right? That is for example here in the last example the speed of light in the vacuum was 3 into 10 to the power 8. In the glass, the speed is 2 into 10 to the power 8. So here, how many times the speed get decreased? So if you take this ratio, that is, if you take this ratio, then you will get the refractive index, that is 1.5. If you divide this, then you will get the answer 1.5. So this 1.5 indicates that the speed of the light decreases by 1.5 times when it enters the glass right so the refractive index tells us that up to what level up to what extent the speed of the light decreases when it enters in another medium from vacuum or from air similarly if we consider the angle if, if we want to consider the direction, then we need to consider the angle that we will see in the relative refractive index part. So, the value of the refractive index is depend on the speed of light in two media. That is, for example, suppose instead of uh, glass, let us assume that the second medium is water. The another medium we are having is a water. So, here I am having water and here I am having vacuum or air. Again in the vacuum, the speed of light is 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second and in glass, sorry, in water, the speed is 2.25 into 10 raised to 8. Now here, the speed again decreases when the light enters from vacuum to the water. The speed decreases up to some extent. Now let us try to measure up to what extent the speed decreases. Then what we will do, we will take this ratio. Then this ratio will give us the answer 1.33. So if I tell that the refractive index of water is 1.33, it means the speed of light in water decreases by 1.33 times compared to the speed of light in vacuum. Similarly, the refractive index of diamond is 2.42. That is, when light enters from air, from vacuum into the diamond, then in diamond the speed of the light 
will be decreased by 2.42 times that is the original speed of light in vacuum is 3 into 10 to the power 8 now you divide this by 2.42 you will get the speed of light in diamond that is the speed will decrease by that much time so we can define the absolute refractive index or just refractive index as it is defined as the speed of light in vacuum divided by the speed of light in the refracting medium right here above we had a vacuum and below we have a refracting medium so we can define it as eta right this symbol either you can say n or eta is a greek symbol so eta it is written as eta eta is equals to ratio of speed of light in vacuum which is denoted as c and speed of light in a given medium if there is a medium 1 then we will tell the eta 1 and v1 if there is a medium 2 then eta 2 c by v2 because the speed of light in vacuum or air remains constant which is c so if you want to find the refractive index of different different medium for example if you want to find the absolute refractive index of glass then you will write eta g refractive index of glass is equals to c by vg where vg is the velocity of light in glass and eta g is the refractive index of glass let us uh, look to another examples if light travels from optically rarer to optical is optically means the medium in which the light can travel right in opaque medium light cannot travel so if light travels from optically rarer to optically denser medium for example air is a optically rarer medium while glass is a optically denser medium so when light travels from optically rarer to optically denser medium then its speed decreases right that is the speed of light in air is 3 into 10 to the power 8 and in glass it is 2 into 10 to the power Eight. so speed decreases and it bends towards the normal so here this line this line is the normal so actually the light is going in this direction but when it is when it passes from optically rarer to optically denser it will bend towards the normal see here you can see that the light is bending towards the normal in case of the pencil also right in the first lecture of this refraction part we have seen that the pencil appear to be bent because of this phenomena the pencil appears bent and if the light travels from optically denser to rarer medium then it uh, then its speed increases and it bend away from normal for example if here we are having a glass again let us take example of glass and here we are having air now let us pass the light from the glass this is our normal line and let us try to pass the light from the glass so if i am passing the light from the glass then actually the light is going like this like this then when light is going from glass that is the speed of light in glass is 2 into 10 to the power 8 now when it enters the air its speed increases and the new speed will be 3 into 10 to the power 8 and it will bend away from normal so here we are having a normal line and the light is going like this but when it is passing from denser to rarer it will bend away from normal so light will go like this similarly if you have like this that is here you have glass and here you have air then again this is our normal this is the actual direction of the light now when it is passed from denser to rarer it will bend away from normal so this is the direction actual direction was this so uh, we can understand it better now let us look to uh, look at another example to understand the terms clearly uh, so question number one speed of light in glass is 2 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second then find the refractive index of glass so simple we have a formula eta is equals to c by v where c is always constant it is 3 into 10 to the power 8 
and v is given speed of light in glass is given so if you put that value then 10 to the power 8 10 to the power 8 will get cancel and 3 by 2 means it is 1.5 so refractive index that is the extent up to which the speed of light decreases is 1.5 of a glass similarly the refractive index of water is given 1.33 if the speed of light in vacuum is given find the velocity so simple here eta is equals to eta is equals to c by v eta is given 1.33 that is refractive index 3 into 10 to the power 8 is the speed of light in vacuum and velocity of light in water we want to find we will make here v as a subject then v is equals to c by eta c is given 3 into 10 to the power 8 2.33 then the speed of light in water will be 2.25 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second in the next lecture we will uh, see uh, what is relative refractive index and we'll try to understand the snell's law and we'll solve some of the examples related to relative refractive index and uh, this is called the absolute refractive index or only the refractive index have a nice day.